Hey guys, Adrian here with the Crafty Mom. Today is faded and I'm really loving doing these types of videos. They're so much more easier. And so today I was going to talk to you about Whole30, our one week update. We made it the whole week, but I've decided that we are not going to stick to it. And here's the reasons why. So I feel like a failure, but at the same time, I got the concept of what we're supposed to be doing. It's just figuring that out and feeding like me and my husband and then my kids two different things um, was getting very hard. Um, and not that they were eating differently than us, like I would feed them the same. Um, more of it was financially. I was having to buy double of what I was getting because what I usually get for a week, we would just go through that um, because I'm buying more meats, more fruits and vegetables and not buying as much, you know, the processed food or stuff like that. And we were having to go to the store during the week and then this grocery shop we had to tap into next week. So at that point, I kind of just figured that it has to, you know, I had to stop doing it because financially we just can't. And so, but I'm not really stopping completely. I'm kind of tweaking a few things and what I'm going to be including back in are like quinoa because it's a protein and it's kind of a cheaper version that we can use. I mean, we did really good the whole week. We didn't eat. We stuck to it to a T. And there was a few things that we didn't realize were not completely Whole30 approved. So, you know, it made me realize things that I can't eat, things that I can't eat. And um, it helped me just refocus my way of thinking. And I think we'll probably do it when we can do it financially because financially we have a certain amount of money every week to put in towards groceries and it just got expensive and I wasn't able to feed my family for the whole week. So I really had to stop and pray about it and just, you know, it's not stopping us from eating healthy. We're still going to stick to that. Um, it's just that we're just not going to be doing it completely. And um, like I said, financially, I, can't, I feel like such a failure, but this is something that I just really had to pray about. And um, the main thing is just financially, we just, it just was, I don't know how people do it, um, buying all organic. And it's, the prices are just astronomical. And I understand some people have to, and if you have the money to do it, then more power to you. But um, just financially, it's, I just I just can't. So, but like I said, I'm still going to be implementing the Whole30. Um, I'm still not going to be eating sugars and flours and all those other things. Um, I'm going to try really hard not to because um, just for me, those things really make my stomach hurt. So like I said, it helps us to take a, a better look at what we are eating, what we are buying, um, what's worth it and what's not. And um, like I said, we were eating as much as we could like to get as much protein in us and we were still hungry. Um, I don't know, I just, I don't know, I just feel like it's just so hard working and coming home and trying to figure out dinners. I mean, I had to cook for every single meal. And not that I don't cook every single meal, but there's things that are just easier to cook. So like I said, I'm going to just tweak a few things here and there. I'm still going to, I still want to eat the Whole30 and I still want to, but it's just not going to be like completely Whole30. Um, it's just going to be, we're just going to be eating healthier. And my husband is completely on board with that. And that's it for the Whole30. I feel like, oh my gosh, you know, and it's not that we failed, it's just that we just financially can't. And I did try different ways of shopping. It's just, yeah, it was just hard. Yeah. 
but I definitely feel like if one of us does it at one time, we could definitely do it that way. But being that there was two of us, it was just hard. It was so hard. And eating the same thing every day, my husband got tired of it. And it's not that the first, like, because that's all I had time to do was make chicken and prep the meals for that week. And it was like we were eating it for dinner and lunch, dinner and lunch every day. And he just finally got tired of it. And I try to, you know, figure out all these meals. And so I did. And when I went grocery shopping and I come home, I'm like, it's still not enough. Like it still wasn't enough. And we had already spent way over our budget. So I'm like, you know what? This is just too hard for me right now. And I just, I just can't do it. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Yeah. Sorry guys. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, now don't be discouraged from this if you are doing it do it like I said if you have the means the finances to do it definitely do it um, because I can't wait to be able to do it again like I so want this so bad but I know what I need to do now I know what I need to just completely stay away from and what I can and cannot buy like what types of things I have to buy organic because there are still things that I'm going to keep seeing keep buying organic and then there's things that you know like certain fruits that I'm not going to really stress over if they're not so yeah all right guys thank you so much for watching um I will see you in my next video tomorrow and have a blessed day don't forget to like subscribe comment and share I'll see you next time bye